there. I mustn't have seen you because I was reading so introspectively. What's that? You want to hear about my music assessment and where I am on it? And if I don't, I'll get an N award? I would have guessed scurvy. So, in week one, I would care to admit slash tell, I decided to begin with a simple fingerstyle introductory chord progression, moving along in a manner thusly. <laughs> And that's a good starting point, I will admit. But it needed something bigger. Something darker to take some edge off, and so I decided later in the song, perhaps as a chorus, perhaps as just alternating verses, it would move into a kind of uh, very indie folk punk chord progression built around power chords of a minor and major nature. And, and thus... and lyrics, such as, ow, my heart, and why did you run away with my car keys? Uh, building on that, I thought, why not throw in some bass? And so the bass follows it quite simply, it's just, uh, uh, Kind of along that, there's a few variations through it. That's probably the most common motif in the bass lines, that. That sort of simplistic thing that you can then build on. Uh, of course there is also uh, running up a kind of a drum line that you'll hear. It builds up with uh, just gentle hi hats with the, uh, with the finger style, moving into thumping bass along with the finger style that leads into a break with all the music separated, and I will show you this very soon. There is also a small piano riff going over the top of it. It's like three notes, that was completely wrong. It's like this. Kind of just builds around that. It's basically in C major, so it's not that hard to write piano for it. You can just press anything. Anywho, to Ableton Live we go. I'd like to introduce you to the program Ableton Live. I will be playing my piece for you today in segmented areas. We begin, of course, with the fingerstyle progression. This time around, we'll be adding some of the drums. The next, four bar, the next bar will be hi-hats. Bases come in with the drum build up, drums build up further, big crescendo, and then those chords come in. And we sort of stay on those for a little while, we build that in the verse, this is where it's really starting to punch you in the guts. You can hear the, the bass coming along with the drums as well. Throw in some piano. So touching, so heartrending. And where would we be without Jimi Hendrix inspired soloing? One, two, three, four.
hopefully this makes up for, you know, a, a whole week where I didn't do, uh, whatever this is called, blog, vlog, 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 vlog. Okay, bye.